So, Marina. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it in Portuguese? Close, close enough. Marina. 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 And you own a bakery on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Yeah. That's so badass. Yeah, That's like... I am from Brazil, and as you know, Brazilian people are super warm. Yes. And literally everywhere you go, people know your name, they know who you are, they know who your parents are. So I I just miss that here. So I really just wanted to recreate that from like growing up, like going somewhere with like a change, like a few bucks that your parents gave you and like buying a hot chocolate. That's what we're trying to do. So like a little community. This is our yeah. That's our seasonal uh, whole wheat strawberry muffin, apricot cherry scone, we do that one year round. Banana chocolate chip bread. It's like about to flake off. Yeah. It's so good. So Brazilian cheese bread, uh, and we call it PDQ. Mark Malcolm. Hey, Clef, what's going on? Holy crap! Like 20 freaking years. Let's not We're date ourselves. Let's not date ourselves. Oh yeah, we knew God. each other when we were fetuses in each but of our mother's we stomach. We look the same. We totally you, do. This is the same face. Yes, I think so. Freshman year, NYU. It was a long time ago, but we don't have to date ourselves. But nope. yes, we did Tish We did go yards. to school together. We're yes. violet. Yeah. It's like Lachaim. It's like L'chaim. one step up from like. Pansy. What was like the uh, the Bobcat was the like the, yeah. the, the the it was the NYU Violets. Yeah. I wanted to play a school that was the Daffodil. It would have been like <laughs> Violets versus Daffodils. It was just like months and months and months. I would say even like the first six months where I'm just like, yeah. what what am I doing here? Like that was right. the most intimidating thing. I know. To Everyone be there. Was the of their high school yes and then they came together at NYU and you were like oh so much ego but like also so much talent because in orientation yeah. the first time it was like during when we first got there before classes we're all like on 721 Broadway on the second floor and like yeah. there's like hundreds of people and I'm just like these people all want to How do what all, I did yeah I had zero confidence I remember you having we met before class uh, classes ever started you had so much confidence that I was like where do I buy this confidence <gasps> Wow. Okay, in 30 seconds or less, what is the meaning of life? I honestly... And we're not timing you. Uh, I believe in God, I pray, and I think a lot of it is just growth, really learning to be selfless, um, learning to love people, um, and loving people when it's not easy, when they're difficult. I'm so... Can I just do a fist bump? Yeah, sure. I am... It, this is not easy to talk about in oh, our world, okay. because, yeah. like, the God concept is like, no one really wants to talk about it and then all of a yeah. sudden it becomes like a christian show sure or, and i'm Jew like it's yeah i just think like it, it is right I, I like worked, i'm I worked, just gonna yeah. go out and say that i worked on a bunch of well-known tv shows and it, like and i get it like the way a religion is is like in the news with certain people that claim to be Me too. uh I they would that. like they would just like they would definitely uh like it was just natural just to for stuff to come out like anti and i just i never took it personally i was like yeah. I, I get it if, if that's like Somebody's um, point of view is just what's what's in the news with certain people sure. uh, that are, are supposed they're trying to be representations. I'm like, I get it. Yeah, I, I mean, get look, it. I just th uh, forget religion. Yeah, you, you can believe in whatever you want, but the idea that something bigger than all of us uh -huh. is like, kind of running the show and the yeah. sun is getting brighter as I say that. Yeah, whatever. Lights up. Sure. On God. <laughs> Uh, you know, I didn't, I, uh, yeah, I never was able, like, I, it's a joke in NYU, I remember these, they would smoke at parties, they would smoke in bars, it was like right yeah. before, and I just remember everyone right. at the parties, with all the actors smoking, and like, I think one time is a joke, they would have this, one of, somebody was smoking these capris, they were these thin cigarettes, and like, I just put one in my mouth to know what it was look like, and um, I couldn't, like, I don't want to pull the Bill Clinton, but I could not inhale, like, I couldn't, <laughs> I didn't get any buzz, and I couldn't, like, I would have been coughing, right? Like, I've never... So that was, like, the one time just as, like, uh, this is a joke. But I... 
Yeah, I never smoked. I never, um, I never did anything at NYU present day, like any smoking or anything like, um, I don't know why. I think, I just think Nancy like, Reagan. I think, <laughs> you know what? I was one well, of those people. About her husband. She was like that whole dare to keep, I mean, I yeah, like that definitely now. affected me. And I just think a lot of the affected scare tactics that like we watched in school yeah. and just people Scared that straight. people that I, um, I knew that bad stuff happened. I was like, um, I think that was a big, big motivation for, yeah. for, for me personally. Same. Yeah. But, um, again, I have friends that smoke and Same. love them. It's all free, yeah. free will, free choice. Right. I can't do any impressions. That was one thing. I don't you. No, I can't. Like, you um, uh, I mean, I, I was just, just with him. Like three hours. Yeah, 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 I know him. I, he's actually a really good impressionist. I don't I know if you imagine. knew that. He does um, Jerry Seinfeld. He was the first to ever do Seinfeld. He does like Andrew Dice Clay. What? What's the, the deal? deal with pastries. pastries. In the book. Yeah, that's the best you're gonna get. And moving on. Make a song. I know you love to sing. Oh my gosh. You could rap it though. It could we, be like a Lin Manuel we, song. I have too much respect for him to and like then do try that. Cheesy bread is your keyword. Cheesy bread. Make a song about it. Um, it's the final cheesy bread. Do 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 do. Europe actually has been really good licensing. I. What goal do you aspire to achieve? Can I guess? Yes, you can try. To have your own late night talk show, but for kids. I. You know what? I did have like a thing where I wanted to do like a late night for kids, but it's definitely morphed into something because like. When I've performed for kids, like it's just so, they're so into it that it's hard sometimes to even get the words out. And like, I couldn't have a kid audience just because it's like, I can perform in front of kids, but if it's a TV type thing, it's just like the kids basically take over. I couldn't. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, but I definitely am working on a kid show and that's, if I could do anything, that would be it. Yes. Yoga move or an original dance pose? Like oh. an original yoga pose or an original dance move? What would you pick? I'd go for the yoga. Okay, so let's do it. I can't. I'm having trouble. Hold on. One-legged airplane. If you yeah. could ask God one question, the universe, the Schwartz, the force, one question, what would it be? Maybe one is, what is the one thing that I can, um, I can do or get people's attention that would have the, the most impact on your will? Who was your childhood role model? The one person that I was really, really into and it never waned um, was, was Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers. Like I, I'd watch the show and um, <laughs> I grew up in Pennsylvania. Like it was like four or five hours from Pittsburgh. And I, at one point he came when I was two to my nursery school, but like I was in the morning session and he was coming in, in the afternoon and my mom wouldn't take me. And I, I still wasn't over it. So um, what happened is I just like, I kept, visualizing myself on the set of Mr. Rogers and it was, it was a closed set and then I got this inkling I just got this thing in my mind that Mark you you need to make this happen now and I didn't really know why and this was 2000 and then I just kept calling them and and uh they said there's no one on we can't allow anyone on set um so I just kept calling and then finally I name dropped I was working on a very a hit tv show at the time um, that was doing like number one in the ratings so that that did get me in and like I couldn't believe it I took my mom and we were on the set, um, I watched Mr. Rogers do the puppets. The neighborhood of make-believe was all set up. I, spent, I got to spend Lady Elaine Fairchild's museum go around and just like to be there. And then four days later, he announces his retirement. So like, I got it in right there. Like, my, everything was telling me, you have to do this now. He announces his retirement, it's like front page news. And then I, he wraps up, that's, this is November, and he, and he wraps up in December. So like, there's so many times I just got something in. How would you, get people to open up on the streets to you? I just think like my curiosity, like when I'm interviewing people, cause it's not about me. Right. It's, um, it's, I sit down with people, either I've interviewed people on the street. I sit down with people I do not know. And they do open up a lot of times. They, they will tell me that they say stuff that they, uh, stuff comes out that they've never talked about. I just think that they, they, they can sense my true curiosity. Do you ever hug trees? I don't think I've ever hugged a tree. <laughs>